This is the second video out of three on the topic, Moving Trihedral of Space Curves. Let's continue our discussion. The unit tangent vector capital T being a unit vector, its norm is equal to 1 for all t, so it's a constant. So by the previous theorem, the vectors t of t and t prime of t are always perpendicular. From this, we will define later the unit normal vector. Note, however, that t prime of t is not always a unit vector. So let's see be a smooth curve defined by the vector function r of t with unit tangent vector capital T of t. The vector defined by capital N of t equal to t prime of t over the norm of t prime of t, provided that t prime of t is not the zero vector, is called the unit normal vector to C. Essentially, we just normalized the vector t prime of t by dividing by its norm to obtain a unit vector which has the same direction as t prime of t. So it should be clear that n and t are always orthogonal. So at each point on a smooth space curve, the unit tangent capital T and unit normal vector capital N are always perpendicular. Another remark, the unit normal vector points towards the concave side of the curve. To illustrate, let's look at the next example. Consider r of t equal to the vector ln of t comma t. Find n of 2. To get n of 2, we need t prime and the norm of t prime at t equals 2. So from example 2, we already have a vector equation for the unit tangent vector t of t and it is given by this vector. So we proceed by solving for t prime of t and then evaluate that at t equals 2. So t prime of t is equal to this vector. So differentiate first component and differentiate the second component with respect to t. Next, we evaluate this at t equals 2 to get this vector. So verify that we will get this vector and this is our t prime at 2. Next, we solve for the norm of t prime of 2 and the norm is equal to 1 over 5. So from the definition n of 2, the unit normal vector at t equals 2 is equal to the vector. So this first component over the norm, comma, the second component over the norm. So here's the graph of r of t, and it is directed upward. The blue vector, so this vector is t of 2. It is tangent to the graph of r in the direction of r. And this red vector is n of 2, the unit normal vector at 2. And it points towards the concave side of the curve. <coughs> So next, we consider a smooth space curve C defined by some vector function R of t with unit tangent and unit normal vectors t of t and n of t respectively. Let's look at the norm of the cross product of t and n. From a previous lecture, this expression is equal to the norm of t times the norm of n sine theta, where theta is the angle between the two vectors. But since t and n are perpendicular, then theta is equal to pi over 2. So this expression is equal to the norm of t times the norm of n sine pi over 2. But again, note that t and n are unit vectors, so the norms are equal to 1. Also, sine pi over 2 is just 1. So the norm of the cross product is equal to 1. So this tells us, so this um, equation tells us that t cross n, the cross product of t with n, is actually a unit vector. 
So furthermore, we know from a previous lecture that the cross product of two vectors is perpendicular to both vectors. So that is, this vector t cross n is actually perpendicular to both t and n. So let's define the unit binormal vector. Let C be a smooth curve defined by the vector function R of t with unit tangent and unit normal vectors, capital T and capital N of t, respectively. The vector given by t cross n, which we denote by capital B, is called the unit binormal vector to C. So let's consider one more time r of t equal to ln of t comma t. Let's find b of 2. So from this, we need to solve for the cross product of t of 2 and n of 2. So which we have already computed from the previous examples. So recall t of 2 is equal to this vector and n of 2 is equal to this vector. So solving for the cross product, we get the vector 0, 0, 1. So note that we simply add 0 as the third component of the vectors t of 2 and n of 2. So this vector 0, 0, 1 is a unit vector that is both perpendicular to t of 2 and n of 2. So this is the unit binormal vector. Some remarks. First, we can solve for b of t, the unit binormal vector, using r and its derivatives. So let's see b a smooth curve defined by the vector valued function r of t. The unit binormal vector may also be computed using this expression. So the unit binormal vector b is equal to the cross product of r prime of t and r double prime of t over the norm of r prime of t cross r double prime of t. Second, collectively, the three unit vectors t, n, and b are called the moving trihedral of a space curve, and they are always drawn in accordance with the right-hand rule. So we can see here t, n, and b. Oops. So in accordance with the right-hand rule, t cross n is equal to b. So if we curl our fingers on the right hand from t to n, the thumb points upward and that is the direction of the unit binormal vector b. Also b cross t, so curl the right hand, fingers on the right hand from b to t, our thumb points to the right and that is the direction of the unit normal vector n. And finally, n cross b is equal to t. So curling the fingers on your right hand from n to b, the thumb points outward out of the screen, and that is the direction of the unit tangent vector t. So consider example 5. Let C be the space curve defined by R of T equal to T comma one half T squared comma one third T cubed. Find the moving trihedral of C at T equals one. So to solve for T, N, and B, let's start by solving for the derivatives of R. So from the given R, R prime is just one comma T comma t squared and r double prime of t is just 0, 1, 2, t. At t equals 1, we have r prime of 1 equal to 1, 1, 1. Hence, uh, its norm is just square root of 3. r double prime at 1 is equal to the vector 0, 1, 2. Okay? And its norm is equal to the square root of 1 plus 4, so that is square root of 5. So therefore, the unit tangent vector at t equals 1, uh, it is defined to be r prime of 1 over the norm of r prime of 1. So we have 
1, 1, 1 over, this is the norm of r prime of 1. So we have this vector. Next, use the first remark in the previous slide to solve for the unit binormal vector at 1. So you can verify that b of 1, which is equal to the cross product of r prime of 1 with r double prime of 1 over the norm of the cross product, this is equal to the vector square root of 6 over 6, negative square root of 6 over 3, and square root of 6 over 6. So you can verify this. So finally, we solve for the unit normal vector at t equals 1. Let's use the second remark in the previous slide. So with the aid of the right-hand rule, n of 1 is equal to b of 1 cross t of 1. Okay. But we already have b of 1 and t of 1, so we just get the cross product. And you can verify that the cross product is equal to this vector. So these are the moving trihedral of C at T equals 1. So T of 1, B of 1, and N of 1. So in the next video, we will introduce the T and B frame.